from the need for flexible child care to unprecedented job training. Just two of the profound challenges now facing Massachusetts. Many people now left behind while others are finding new opportunities for flexibility in family, including the governor. A lot of people discovered during the course of the pandemic that spending more time at home was actually something they enjoyed. A radical change in how and where many people work emerging from the pandemic. For those who can do remote work, it's here to stay, according to a new report commissioned by Governor Charlie Baker. The pandemic, which was a horrible, terrible crisis and a catastrophe in so many ways, forced a lot of people into thinking about how to use that virtual technology. And I think some of what's come out of that has been a positive development. In our one on one interview, the governor talked about the challenges the state will have to face a drop in demand for office real estate, public transit ridership and business travel, a shortage of affordable housing, a need for flexible child care and to reimagine urban centers. Did you expect for example, in Boston, the financial district to be a ghost town? Well, what we've heard from most folks around Boston generally is Labor Day is, is a big day. But I think how many days people return and, and what the terms on which they return are gonna look like is still something people are working through. The governor revealed half the state workforce will be returning to a hybrid model in the fall, splitting time in the office, on the road if needed, and at home. What do you say to people who say, if you're not at the office, you're not working? Boy, I worked awfully hard over the course of the past year without necessarily being in the office. Governing during the pandemic was demanding, but the work-life balance has shifted even for Baker and his wife. In the old days, I would have been getting up, popping in a car and going somewhere. And what I've been doing lately is getting up, making coffee, and she comes down at some point shortly after that, and we sit around and chit-chat in the kitchen for half an hour, and then I hop on a Zoom call or two, and then I go wherever it is I'm going. And I just have a feeling that that's going to be the way it's going to work for a bunch of people. Now, this report also found up to 400,000 Massachusetts workers may need to find new jobs requiring this unprecedented retraining program to try to help workers leave old industries and enter new growing ones like health care, life sciences, and construction. In the newsroom, Karen Anderson, WCVB News Center 5.